Hey, it's Miguel, and uh, we are in chapter 21. So in the last chapter of the Gospel of John, I'm going to do something I don't normally do. <coughs> um, I'm going to try to cover the whole chapter. I don't think at this point chopping it up um, I just want to keep the continuity with uh, with what chapter 21 talks about it's broken up into really uh, three parts uh, where Christ appears to seven <coughs> excuse me of the disciples and then Christ speaks to Peter uh, and then the last few verses where John concludes uh, the Gospel of John. So, um, I'd like to do it that way. Hopefully, <coughs> I can fit it on one. If not, we'll do <coughs> some more. So, just a really quick review, of course, is we discussed uh, in the last video the, the appearance of Christ to um, the disciples, Mary Magdalene, the disciples, um, and then the purpose of the Gospel of John, which is covered <clears throat> in chapter 20, verses, <clears throat> excuse me again, in chapter 20, verses uh, 30 and 31, and verse 31 says, but these have been written, so, all this has been written, so that you may believe Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, <clears throat> and by believing and that by and that believing you may have life in his name so here I'm going to start chapter 21 reading out of the New American Standard it says after these things Jesus manifested himself again to the disciples at the Sea of Tiberias and he manifested himself in this way <coughs> Simon Peter Thomas called Didymus and Nathaniel of Cana in Galilee and the sons of Zebedee and two others of his disciples were together. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said, We will come with you. They went out and got into the boat, and that night they caught nothing. But when the day was now breaking, Jesus stood on the beach, yet the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. So Jesus said to them, Children, do you have any fish? Do you? Or children, do you you do not have any fish, do you? They answered him, No. And he said to them, Cast the net on the right side of the boat, and you will find a catch. So they cast, and then and then they were not able to haul it in <coughs> because of the great number of fish. Therefore, that disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. So when the, so when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put his outer garment on. For he was stripped for work and threw himself into the sea. But the other disciples came <clears throat> came in the little boat, for they were not able to, for they were not far from the land, but about one hundred yards away, dragging the net full of fish. So when they got out of the land they saw charcoal fire ready laid and fish placed on it, and bread. <clears throat> Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish which you have now caught. Simon Peter went up and drew the net to land, full of large fish, a hundred and fifty-three. Although there were so many, the net was not torn. Verse 12. Jesus said to them, Come and have breakfast. None of the disciples ventured to question him, Who are you? Knowing that it was the Lord. <coughs> Jesus came and took bread and gave it to them, and fish likewise. This is now the third time that Jesus was manifested to his disciples after he was raised from the dead. So when they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my lambs. He said to him a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord. You know that I love you. He said to him, Shepherd, my sheep. He said to the, him a third time, <coughs> Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Tend my sheep. 
Truly, truly, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to gird yourself and walk wherever you wished. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone will gird you and bring you where you do not wish to go. Now he said, signifying by what, he said this <clears throat> by signifying what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had spoken to him, he said, follow me. Peter, turning around, saw the disciple whom Jesus loved following them, the one who had leaned back on his bosom at the supper and said, Lord, who is the one who betrays you? So Peter, seeing him, said to Jesus, Lord, what about this man? Jesus said to him, If I want him to remain until I come, what is that to you? You follow me. Therefore the saying went out from um, among the brethren that the disciple would not die. Yet Jesus did not say that he would not die but only if you want to remain until I come, what is that to you? <clears throat> this is the disciple who is testifying to these things and who wrote these things, and we know that his testimony is true. And there are also many other things which Jesus did, which if they were written in detail, I suppose that even the world itself would not contain the books that would be written. <coughs> Excuse me. So that is the conclusion, uh, well that is the, the whole ch chapter uh, 21 and broken up into those parts that I had mentioned. I wanted to just uh, focus on a couple of things <coughs> and uh, go over some, <coughs> some of the commentary here. So the first part, really just quick three three parts here and uh, verse 11 which which talks about uh, the number of, of fish and um, well that's actually let's back up we're gonna back up to uh, verse 14 which talks about actually go to verse 14 this is now the third time that Jesus was manifested to the disciples after he was raised from the dead so this is the third time obviously you just heard the verse after the resurrection he appeared to them the first time is in John chapter 20 verse 19 through 23 and then verses 26 through uh, 29 so yeah and then here talking about the uh, the number of fish I wanted to talk about how uh, during the time that uh, Jesus was betrayed and they fled and their disobedience and now uh, they're being restored here this was just another demonstration that Jesus would or could and would still provide <coughs> for their needs so even in the commentary it talks about how and this is always true that the the story reminds us that there is uh, uh, obedience uh, always brings blessing so that's obedience brings blessing and you can look at some verses, uh, Genesis 22:18, Exodus 19:5, Leviticus 26:3 through 12, uh, Deuteronomy 28:1 through 14, <coughs> Psalm 19:11 and 119:1 1 and 2, Isaiah 1:19, Jeremiah 7:23, John 13:17, James 1:25, and Revelation 22. 17 so these are uh, examples I hope I didn't read that too fast about how God uh, will bless those who obey his word and um, and I know I've said this before but I am not anybody special I desperately need Christ like anybody else and the Lord uh, uses weak and sinful people to ex uh, to advance his kingdom and you see this in, in other verses uh, um, Isaiah 6, 5, and 8, 1 Corinthians 1, uh, 26-31, 2 Corinthians 12, 7-10, and even 1 Timothy 1, 12-15. So I know that I went through that rather quickly, but hopefully you can use, <coughs> uh, read the references for yourself. And finally, the uh, last two points, well, last, quickly last two points I want to talk about when Jesus uh, really was just rebuking Peter when he asked him three times um, if he loved him. 
And Peter responded in, in the, the original language in the Greek. Well, he says that he likes them, and then he likes them a lot. And it was really a rebuke um, that he would uh, give up everything and have that total commitment to follow uh, Christ. So this was the really the restoration of Peter after he had denied. So this really completed his restoration um, after his denial of, of Jesus. <clears throat> and the last two verses talk about uh, John uh, being an eyewitness to uh, Jesus and his miracles and of course inspired um, by the Holy Spirit to write uh, the Gospel of John. So I know this has been uh, very uh, quick and I hope you can uh, maybe review it and look at the references yourself. So this really con this concludes the, the Gospel of John. It's taken <laughs> quite a while. I don't know how many years, but uh, among this topic and others. And as always, I pray that this would be a blessing to the body of Christ. Always drive you to the Word of God to read and study and obey His Word and grow in Christ. And to those that don't know Christ, I would pray that God would open your eyes to your need for Him. That you would realize that you're on your way to hell unless you repent of your sins. That you would believe that Jesus died for your sins. He shed His blood for you that you would come in true repentance, that your sins would be cleansed in His blood, you would be filled in, with the Spirit, and come to know Him as your Lord and Savior even today.